to serving on the SEIU board. I am currently the IT system specialist at Walt Whitman High School. And previously I've worked at the help desk in middle school and elementary school. So I have a broad understanding of what it means to be an IDF um, I also represent media assistants and media service technicians. <laughs> IT arena this year, we have suffered from a loss of resources. Um, most notably is the loss of the ITS, who were trainers uh, out of the Office of the Chief Techno Technology Officer, who handled training. Um, we had several new initiatives this year, and training was lacking, and if it turns on with power or it's accessed through a keyboard, it must be a question for an ITSS. And this year, we, we did receive some training in the MyMCPS um, portal at our October meeting. So uh, last week, we got some training. But we had long lines of parents and students and teachers at our doors asking us, how do we access it? How do we work it? How do we do the things that are expected of us to do? Um, so that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. Um, the letter went out to secondary parents right before Labor Day weekend. There were parents at my door that Tuesday morning, and I didn't know what they were talking about. I had no idea what the letter was, what it was about, how to access the information they needed. We scrambled around. I contacted Kara Trenkamp. I got the answers I needed. I got parents set up in my school with the uh, administrative secretary who could help them. And as I said, I've since gotten some training, and our teachers have gotten some training. But I had students come to my door with their phone and say, how do I get my grades? I said, I don't know. <laughs> so we, we worked through and we helped them. Uh, but we didn't have that resource of the trainers to go out for the 17 people who had previously um, gone to their schools. Um, so you have in front of you a newspaper, which is the black and white from Walt Whitman High School. And if you look at the second half of the front page, it's an article written by our students about this issue and the, the initial confusion that they faced. <coughs> and I actually want to thank Mr. Collette, because over the years, these students have gone to the Board of Education for these answers. They're very good at um, going up to the, to the top and asking the questions. Um, <clears throat> so we, we, I have, we have gotten through this. We've figured it out. We've worked as a team. We've gotten the training we need. But the, the, the things we're asking for, well, but one quote I wanted to read to you. Um, this is from an elementary ITSS. Uh, when we were talking about how are things, I know how it's going in the high school, how's it going in the elementary school. She said to me, I'm guessing things are falling through the cracks. Things aren't getting done. Resources aren't being used to their fullest. Staff are frustrated. Support staff are also frustrated. Each person is already expected to do more. This is just adding to that workload. So a couple of things that we might have been able to do to prevent the situation would have been, well, one would be to have that training resource which was removed, and that's a resource issue. And I understand that that's a, um, you know, asking uh, for money to be spent on those people. They didn't just support this kind of rollout, they would have supported how to use Promethean boards, how to use Classflow, how to use Google, all of the things that teachers use. They were trained and, and offered the support. Um, one, thing would have been to provide the training to the ITSSs and to the media assistants in advance of the parents coming to the door um, so that to, to include us in, in knowing it was happening and the, the minimum we needed to have to help people when they showed up. Um, and finally, we, we would like to be involved in planning, be at the table, um, share our expertise from a user point of view, um, What's going to happen when this parent gets this letter? What questions might we be asked that we, what might we need to know to help people? Um, 
and the communication piece, knowing in advance, and the collaboration piece, while they have some cost, are not they're not extremely expensive the way that paying trainers is. And that's my ask from technology.